Shooting a course record is one of the greatest accomplishments a golfer can achieve. And today, me and Matt are teaming up to try and break the course record here at Wallasey Golf Club. Thanks to our good friends at ShopScope, they've given us all the data we need to become record breakers. Oh, be the one, baby. I'll tell you what, the surfaces look pure. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> okay. My lower body is just still in Manchester, I think. Home in Manchester. Is that good? That is monstrous. So we are down at Wallasey Golf Club out on the Wirral, not far from Royal Liverpool, where the Open Championship is being held this year. Myself and Peter have a feat to break, and it's none other than a good friend of mine, Mr. Graham Cox, who has the record here at five under par. He's actually got a little message for us. Hey Matt, Pete, um, rumour has it you boys are uh, doing another video at Wallasey and you're going to try and beat my course record. Um, having seen you both play at Birkdale, good luck with that one. Uh, all serious, good luck, hope you play well boys. Cheers. To be honest, I don't actually want to break Cox's record. I know, such he's a like nice the guy. nicest guy in nicest the world. Nicest man in the world. But Graham, we're going to uh, we're going to do it. 66 is the score that we need. We are playing from the championship tees, the blue tees. The actual previous course record, just as a note, was actually six under by Matthew Dobberry, but they have lengthened the course since then, which is why Graham stuck some new tees in. I've not, yeah, I'm not actually a played it off the bat longer yet, tees so. in. So first hole, 362 yards. I'm going to take the safe play to start off with. Uh, knock a four iron down, Finch is maybe doing the London Marathon or something. And uh, here we go, couple of bunkers, 222 and 232 to get by. The wind's off the right, so I'm going to hit a four iron down into the right corner and uh, see what we can do. Wow, that feels weird. <laughs> All the best, Pete. Yes, play well, enjoy, most importantly, let's break some records. Come on, wind. See a couple of bounces, to... so we're okay. Is that okay? Yeah, I think so. Do I need to hit an iron or? No, you'll be all right. I gotta be honest, mate. It's like first thing in the morning. I don't. Three hundred and sixty yards away. I don't know what you're expecting me to do with this. Yeah, you'll be all right. Just as a note, we are playing Texas Scramble, so we both tee off. Play, pick the best ball, then play from there, pick the best one, and so on, until we hole out. All right. Please hit a better one than mine, Peter. I, well, that's what I'm thinking, like... Just at the green side trap, right at the flag, let the wind do it. Nice, just going at that water sprinkler. And a couple of bounces, hopefully it's avoiding that bunker. I think that'd be alright. Yeah, it should be okay. It's just not. It's just not a driver off this first off. I know yeah. we need to work as a team and biggest biggest club at seven o'clock in the morning is sometimes the best way. Seven degree with like an iron rod in there. <sighs> You'll be okay. I need to get to at least twenty degrees before I operate at full capacity. You know what I mean? I'll be okay. So we played Pete. We're going to play Pete's. Mine was just on the fairway back there. Not too shabby, but it's okay. Yeah, you've got, so you've got quite a bit of root. If you fly it straight at it, yeah, it can go up the bank and come back. It's 55 to the back. So you can almost either lay it short, let it dribble down. Or attack. Or um, let it go up the bank and come back. I don't feel like I've got much touch in my hands this morning. Yeah. So I'm going to be aggressive. Okay. I've done the first option, if that's okay. <laughs> I, I, I literally almost missed that. Right, I've taken my little drop. I'm going to try and maybe go for what Finch didn't on the first one. I will give colour commentary. Come on, Matthew, you've got this. 37, actually, I probably only need to land it in the middle of the green. 37. Oh, 
that's not gone as far as I expected, but it should be running up okay. Is it good? Nah. You're going to hate this, but mine's actually better. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, wow, that was a, a push. I got it my did, aim a bit off there. To be honest, that first bounce seemed very soft as well. It didn't, like, shoot forward. Yeah, yours, that's why I played there. So what you got to do, you've got to use the toe. Yeah. Like, slightly heavy. Yeah. It takes all spin off. Ah. You get it running. I see. Right, Peter. It's not actually worked out that bad, yours, has it? Yeah. I'm actually using... I've got a Chrome Soft X LS. Oh, low spin. That's yeah. why that ran so yeah. much then. It's like officially the lowest spinning ball in golf. So. Do you want the flag out? Uh, you do, so yeah. The uh, I love it when the cups have got that white little paint rim on them. Yeah. Sign of class. Sign of, I mean, look at the flag as well. The home of Stableford, if you didn't know. Here, we'll tell you about that on the next tee a little bit more. But back to the matter at hand. We need to have 66 shots. I just feel like rocking this in for nearly bit. We've had two. Break. Congratulations. There we go. We're one under par. We are one under par. That was as well. That was a full peat hole. And a, <laughs> do, you wanna, do, you get, do you want to get involved at all? Yeah. I fine. will turn up at some point. All right, go on. Get on right. the back. I'll carry you around. Off we go, one under. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so we just mentioned that uh, Wallasey is the home of Stableford. Little plaque here. On the 16th of May, 1932, Dr. Frank Stableford invented the Stableford scoring system. So that's the points one. Two points for a par, three for a birdie, one for a bogey. Must have had a pretty uh, bad uh, bad hole on the first. But we're now on the second gorgeous dog leg left to right. This is the, the first hardest hole on the course statistically that we've got from shot scope. So requires a good drive and then us um, to have maybe a mid iron into the green. So let's see if we can uh, get on the tail of Coxie a bit more. What are we? How far is it? Uh, 450 yards off the back tees here. It's going to start this on this beautiful links hole, by the way. It's going to start this left hand side of the fairway, just like the wind. Just give it a drift across. Yeah, I like that. A whisper of movement. There's a bunker out there protecting the right side of the fairway. This time in the morning, that might be in play. Well, any time of day, it's probably in play. A little bit left, Peter. <laughs> a little bit left. Matthew, I'm almost back on the first hole. Don't worry, I've got your patna. <laughs> right, well, I suppose Pete did make three on his opening hole all on his own, so his shoulders must have been a little bit tiresome. I mean, I am hoping, Matt, that if that's, this can't be one of my, one of my own ball holes again, because that would be, well, worrying. <laughs> Just do what I said I'd do. Right, come on, little fade off the edge of the path. That should, it's just down the right edge of the fairway. Oh, big bounce. Couple of big bounces. You've managed to cut the corner there. It looks like it, there is a trap up there. I don't think it will have got it. We might just be in the semi, but there was a couple of bounces, so we should be okay. Well done, Pan. Thank you. Right, just off the fairway, Pete. 136 yards to the flag, 130 to the front. Now, because of this uh, time of year, the course has baked out. I think it's short and run out. Yeah, thinking short, run out. It's downwind as well. I've picked wedge, that's too much. I'm going to hit a 50, I think. I'll tell you what, if the rough was properly up, you could see why this would be a tough hole. This is the the opposite wind we normally get here as well. It's normally yeah. into this one. It's only the start of June, so it's obviously we're getting into summer now, but yeah. it's so baked already. Yeah, it's proper, proper baked. A few weeks, it's gonna be so linksy. I think uh, with this, you only need a, a three quarter 50 here. Try and land it about 120 and let it just bounce, bounce, bounce. On, yeah. yeah. 
let's see what we can do. Oh no. Oh, don't go in that one. I've hit a that. push fade with a. Hey. It's like missing your mouth with a spoon. <laughs> it is. Missing isn't the it? green with a wedge. What do you reckon? Kirkland, Titleist, or Callaway? I would go uh, Callaway. Callaway. Okay. Callaway. I had a very uh, fruitful, fruitful pick. trip into the rough there. That was great. That's that's one thing I should have taken into note there. When we look at this, we've got a bunker at 125 right near the flag, and I've just not got my mind on and just aimed, and the wind's actually sort of pushing you towards it's it, and slightly, you've got isn't it? so much room left. I'll go. Um, I go about ten foot left of the flag. Yeah. Try and let it just feed in that way. Don't be as bad as I was. Okay. Generally, great advice, I find. Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do. Come on, wind. working its way around now that will do yeah that, it On was green it was very cautious yeah but... after uh, your partner misses it with a wedge i think that's the the appropriate shot well done yeah listen we just got to, you don't want to work as a team team got to work as a team you know Coxie. Coxie. Coxie's, team on one Coxie's one, not team. that good is he no I, yeah, I, I, i've just been to ireland with him and we play port barnock and i've never seen anyone drive the golf ball so well it was it was quite humiliating. Luckily, he was my partner that day, and we <laughs> okay. we mullered the other two. Bob and Aid, if you're watching this, it's a two 0 in the series. One, one all in the series, in fact. Just trying to get into the mindset of wanting to beat him. Yeah. Like even when I used to play in the PJ local events, and he was beating me, I didn't even want to beat him then. No. You got a little bit annoyed at him, then you just saw his smiling face and his beautiful long hair, and you're like, Yeah. No, he's I just can't. the guy I want to be. I just want to be you. <laughs> So this was the hole where he went and developed this whole new system. Yeah, going. You sure you don't want to take mine in the face of the bunker? Ah, I'm probably gonna. Yeah, I'm probably gonna say no to that. Look at that. 1931, playing to strong wind. Dr. Frank Stableford developed a now famous Stableford scoring system. So in other words, he had an absolute shocker. Did not want to go back to the clubhouse and thought, eh, time for a new game. Love it. Guys, I've come up with a new game. Now, I, now I've now i lost, I think we'll change the rules. You know who I really want to meet? It's Dr. Bob Mulligan. Yeah. Because that's a guy who knew how to play golf. And Harry Breakfast Ball. Yeah. For our oh. American friends. Can you see much in this one? You've... Mate, I am at one with these greens. I was just about to say I need to uh, hold this putt because it will be an all you hold, but then I just thankfully remembered it was my drive. Your drive was slightly less worse than mine on this one. Yeah. <laughs> mine was perfect. Nearly. It does seem like over the last few days I've had nothing but left to right putts. Yeah. But you know what? Hold the first one and quite frankly, I think I'm going to hold this one. Dr. Frank. Get there, get there. Get there. Oh, just out of pace, isn't it? Oh, that was a great roll. Just out of pace. Are we doing that thing where we are allowed to tap it in? Yeah, I mean, for that, that length. Yeah. You get a line go. on that one? Yeah, left edge, you were. My brother. I gave it a go. Yeah, I think the it was actually didn't break too much around the hole. It was more nah. the start of that putt, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, well, it's a par on the hardest hole on the golf course. We've done well. We have done well. Well done, team. This is a much better start than yesterday already. So, yeah, I feel pretty confident. Well, we're, we're actually only one better yeah. than the first episode. If you've not seen the first episode, by the way, it was filmed at the glorious. Royal Birkdale, that's over on Peach Channel. We have another two coming from two spectacular venues after today's one. But first things first, we've got to go and take down the cocks. <laughs> Our third hole is 393 yards. It's a lovely stretch, this bit. We're going up this tight little winding fairway towards the sea. 
it's not really a driver but no. being in a scramble format does afford us one loose ball i'm probably hitting iron down there but i think up at the sprinkler that's going off on the right is the line now yeah. pete it's an amazing looking out it's such a, i love valleys yeah oh. definition definition that. all right how about how about we just hit a good striker have yeah. a good drive don't try and murder it just good swing That's not a good swing. I'm sorry, sorry. You're just gonna have to give me a couple of holes. Like my uh, my lower body is just still in Manchester, I think. Home in Manchester. Right, I'm gonna go rescue, put it in play. Done. That, that is, is so good. That is just. Look at it scamper up those hills now. Oh, lovely. I Good think work. we'll take mine, folks. You know what? Even if I'd hit that on the green, I think we should take yours. That ball fight was just... It was pure filth, wasn't it? Oh, mate, very well done. I think this is the spot where everyone hits it to, given the divot pattern around here. We've got 84 up to the... Uh, to the front of the green but 118 all the way to the back so quite the green it's two tiered as well this one so we've got to get it up there there is a little bit of a, an upslope beyond the flag as well which will stop the ball from uh from going too long so i think i can just hit a nice 55er here how far do you have sorry mate one 118 to the back of the green 112 flag playing 115 so yeah i think just a comfortable one of these okay. 55 this is a 115 yard club and we have got that like i say a bit of a slope and it is downwind got a weird fade with my wedges today that's the right mm. distance but it's slight it's like pretty much a slice that with a with a wedge what was that 50 55 all oh, right. I think that was right. Club, I think yeah. the wind is actually as well more pushing it to the right corner. If you actually yeah. go at Ethan, if you go at the path behind the green that young gentleman is stood on, we could be there or thereabouts. That's the bank. That's nice. That'll uh, that'll be decent. Well done. Cheers, mate. Nice shot. Nice shot. I feel like you're relying on me for the safety. I'm relying on you for the tee shots. You're relying on me for these safety second shots. Well, that's what we call dovetailing in the industry. That's <laughs> a uh, term invented by Dr. David Dovetail. Right. What a view, eh? Lovely heading back down to North Wales this way, which we will see on the next, but we'll take Pete's there. I've got about 30 feet. He's got about 18 feet. So we're looking good. Uh, against Matt's advice, we'll put Kirkland's signature performance plus into play. Is this uh, another left to right put? Or is it pretty straight, um, do you think? It's got to move off that bank, has yeah, to. Yeah, there's a, there's a hair. Let me just have a little. Oh, lovely view. Yeah, there's not a lot in it, you know. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go left edge. Cause I, I can't understand how it wouldn't like move off that bank, but keep a beady eye on this, Mr. Matthew. Huh? I tell you what, the surfaces look it's pure, <laughs> unbelievable. <So good. laughs> a pleasure to put on. Wow, that is actually the worst putt I've hit all year. Did you have a yip then? That was awful, mate. That was not being fully decided over the line before I hit it. <laughs> that is the class of a record breaker, folks. Like right. from down here, it actually looks like a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight up. Straight, after. I think it is straight. Oh, 
Oh. Right at the end, right just, at the just end. Just squirreled on us, just went on uh, us. Well, Madam. we have currently had 11 shots, Pete. Okay. We need to have 65. So we've got 54 in the tank and we're four holes through. We're three holes through. <laughs> so, yeah. If we were four holes through, that, that would be impressive. That we'd have done really well there. Right, onwards. Right, we're on the uh, the fourth hole. Absolutely stunning par five, 533 yards. Looking out back down towards the North Wales coast here. It is spectacular. Raised tee down to the fairway. The longest drive on this golf course that ShotScope have recorded is 335 yards. I think with the fairways being a bit shiny today, this wind sort of down and off the left. If you get one ping in here, you could be in for making that, uh, breaking that record. That's one of the records we were trying to break today. A couple of the other records we're trying to break, 39% of fairways are actually only hit round Wallasey and 30% of greens. And the lowest score is 73 recorded on shot scope round here. So 73? 73, right. yeah. You can see why if it gets windy yeah, yeah. and you get a bit of rough involved, you're going to be in trouble, aren't you? So let's see what we can do here. It's a lovely drive just down the left a bit. Well, that's actually a good way because you're on yeah. the 17th fairway there, but it's completely, completely safe. Like, do you think this is, I'd almost you know, for me, I always just aim down the middle of both. You know, that this the split in between. Yeah. And then just if it fades or draws, you, you're on to a winner. Obviously, with the rough as it is, it doesn't doesn't matter if you're in it. No, just like well, you've got to wail away on it. Yeah. Now, Matthew, I don't want to get you too excited, but I actually hit that one out of the middle, and it went pretty much where I was aiming. Holy moly, we could be on here, folks. Just saying. We could be on here. There are two bunkers. If you just have a look at this. 309 and 319 to clear so got to get the old old muscles going if we're going to get over those i mean mine would have got past them come on man yeah you're a big boy now you're a big boy you got a chunky bomb got the big boy pants on beauty leave it wind oh pete Look at that. Look at that fairway, fa the right fairway as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Whew. And that is probably a good angle for the pin that will fade onto it. That, we we'll see. We'll see when we get up there. Well, cause, to be honest, I think, well, we're, we're that far apart, I probably need to decide now. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I think mine might be yeah, a better yours line. Yeah, actually in. a better eye line. For the pin's kind of on the right. Yeah, we'll go for yours. We'll go for yours. Turn around, don't look at me. Look at that. Look at that hole. Ah. Oh. Stop it, Wallace, you dirty dog. It's the Kirkland has done him, has worked wonders for him. You're teeing it. Yeah. Right, so we're going to go for Pete's 206 yards left. So that was like a 330 yard drive. Have we done it? I think you might have done it, but yeah. it might not count because you're not on the right fairway. No, 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 no. I'm on a fairway. All right. On a fairway. <laughs> I'm on a fairway. Mine was 338 yards on the right fairway, just for context. How far is the flag? Uh, 211 to the pin. 211, and look at this. 211 is middle. It's what, what have we got front? 197 front. It's downwind, slightly off the right. I think seven iron. Seven, yeah. I kind of want to take seven it iron over that middle bunker. We have got a couple of bunkers up in the distance, which the only real one that we need to worry about is this one here, 206 which is the front right. The others are all left and short, so we should get over those. Yeah, it's a nice solid seven, I think. This turf's lovely, isn't it? Just a great morning, great course, great company. It's just good to be alive today. Just a great time. Glad you folks are here to enjoy it with us. Just remember, sub to both channels if you're enjoying these challenges. We've got a touch of the left today. It's going over the left trap. It's going to bounce it into yeah. the trap. It's a bit, a little bit heavy, that. 
Yeah, I've, uh... I have couldn't tell with that excavation site you've got here. I don't need to drop on the fairway, do I? I can place. My swing just... Is questionable. Just doesn't... Do you know, like, when you don't really know... You can't feel it. Yeah, you don't really know what you're doing. Yeah. I have that on a daily occurrence, not only with my golf swing. Yeah, I've literally just described how every golfer feels most of the time. There, yeah. So. Right, there. come on, Matty. Over that trap in the middle. Beautiful strike, mate. Cornwind. Just give it a kiss. Give it a nudge. A little bounce. Not oh. that big of a bounce. Do not go in that bunker. That's, that's a bit <laughs> wounding. It sort of took the deadest bounce ever. <laughs> I thought that, that's an absolute disgrace. I thought that was going to be like one hop on the green. It sort of killed it. I thought we were playing Lynx golf. <laughs> Mate, that was such a good shot. <laughs> you didn't actually deserve that. That's so cruel. Um, Do you know what the, the funny thing now? It'll be just shy of the bunker, teetering on the lip on one of those real that's horrible like... sandy lies that you get. Hey, but that's the hand we've been dealt. We've got to go and... Uh, We've got to go and deal with it. Oh man. That was annoying. I had a bounce plug, which is unusual. So it pitches before the bunker and then plugs on the bounce. Now, I don't normally see that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now I would say an advantage is we're quite a long way from the pin. Yeah. So it's not going to have much spin. We'll get it out. It'll run down towards the flag. Yeah. So obviously a plug bunker shot isn't easy, but you know, a couple of lot of loft, lot of smash, lot of run. PJ professionals like ourselves, we can do this. What does he used to say in the manual? Hit and hope. Hit and hope. Good. Well, that's a wonderful shot. That's pretty decent, actually. That's it. Lovely, that. Well done. Can you see where I hit my last shot from? I didn't put a tee in the ground. Yeah, just about got it. Okay. I didn't want you, I didn't want you missing out. Oh, yes. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Right. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> a little bounce in a roll. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> that's a lovely little plug, that. So much sand, Matthew. I feel a little hard done by on this hole, not gonna lie. Hit my best drive, best seven iron, and and yet we're not gonna take a single one of shots so far. Yeah. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Yeah. A big it. peat flavoured cookie that we're eating right now. Oof. We need to start making some ground, I think, Peter. Yeah. Par fives, if we don't dirty par fives, it's just Yeah, it's a real it's a disgrace. It's a bit of a drop Cops but Cops having said that it. did you know the par fives average score 5.5 4.7 on the par fours and 3.6 on the par threes there you go but we're not average matthew but we're not after average we're here to break some records and bones if needed <laughs> i best shape up them Bit of right to left, you see. Yeah. Half a ball outside the right. Just a smidge. Ooh, a smidge. The old smidge. That stayed so straight. No movement. No, I li literally zero movement. Uh, yeah, I'm not overly disappointed. So I don't mind missing putts if I hit a good putt. If it's on the line I want, but... Not every great putt will go in, Pete. Exactly. So, but I would take you having a terrible putt and it going in here, so... Yeah. Well, I'm going to hit a good putt and it's going to go in. Love it. <sighs> Mine's moved. Are you shaping your putts or something? <laughs> Put a bit of spit on it. Have you faded your putt? Well, it's a five. We remain one under par. We've played four holes and we've had 16 shots. 
Not doing too bad, could be a little bit brighter though. So the fifth hole, brilliant par three, this elevated, couple of sets of tees here forwards and another one even further down. Normally it's only like 150. Off the backs here, 188, playing 181 today. Straight downwind, small little tiger tee box. It's, uh, it's brilliant up here, isn't it? What's it to the front of the green? Front of the green from here is 176. Is I'm this... thinking just a nine iron. Yeah, it's like an eight or a nine. I don't think it's not eight. Mind you, having said that, we're, we're a lot higher than we were down on that fairway. That seven iron didn't get pushed as much, but we are, as soon as this gets up, it will get slammed forwards. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go nine iron, just a normal nine iron, I think. Oh. Trap. What a kick that is. Well, we've had a little bit of luck. I hit wow. that pretty poor. Has he got up there? It's just shy of the front. I oh. think just a comfortable nine iron. That's an unbelievable kick. Comfortable nine iron there is good. What is this at the front again? 176. 176. Yeah. Just a nice one of those. Don't try and murder a wedge. Yeah, but... Nope. But if I hit a wedge... I can say I've hit a wedge start at 190 yard hole. <laughs> it's a 180 yard hole, firstly. Well, no, no, it's 190 yards, but it's playing 181. Ah, oh, right, okay. Yeah. Now you tell me. Had that little slope switch on. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. All right, so I'm not going to try and fade it because I seem to be hitting it quite straight with the irons. I always tend to aim left and fade it. Needs the same kick as me. There we there go. There we go, baby. There we go, that'll oh, do. I think we've actually just found a way to play this hole. Yeah. I used that bank on the right. I thought that was it. That's what they were on about in the clubhouse. Yeah, five, right, right bank. Wink, wink. So we're five holes in. After one more hole, we'll be one third of the course in. The course um, stat for greens in reg is 39%. We only need to hit one or two more, I think. Oh, we've done it? Yeah, to tick that one off. I said, I, you know, as long as we leave here achieving some of our goals, yeah. that's the main thing. Yeah. And having and fun, Pete. Go, just go have a good time. That's it. That's the main thing. Well, that's why we're here. That's why we play golf. For good times. Yeah. Very sturdy, strong flags here. Got it. Sign got of it. a good club. Got to make also, it strong around here, man. Sign that you're playing golf by the sea because of all the wind. How's the stitching? Have they got good stitching? Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. the finest. I love that. Old Mother Hubbard did them, I believe. Right, what are we seeing? Just on the right edge. Come on, we need one here. We need to try and get to about three under for the front nine. Okay. Breaking. Oh! Mm. Here you go. Here's your tee. I mean, it kind of seemed to want to move a bit. Yeah, it just did. A, just a touch firm, maybe. A little after the fact, wasn't it? Yeah. I think yeah. you've got to stop looking at my putts. I've got to stop listening to your reads, and you've got to stop looking at my putts. Yeah. Well, it's another par, Pete. We, we're playing, you know, if you're in a singles medal, you'd be really happy with the, the stability, the consistency. But right now we need more. We need to start knocking off them big birds or even just one bird will do. That's a beautiful flag. Sorry, I've just been distracted. It's a wonderful flag. Right, the, uh, the six hole is 342 yards. It is a drivable one normally if it's a calm day, but we are straight back into the teeth today. So oh, we, are, no, we might get close, but hopefully as long as we avoid the bunkers that are down there, a um, couple of bunkers on the left, 
we should um, should be okay. Should be okay. One. Like that flag it looks like it's not moving at all. What do we think? So there's a little bit of room to the right. You don't want to be left here, do you? Because there's a lot of there's yeah a lot of hay on the left, but and also the access into that pin from the left is disgraceful. Two seventy nine to clear the bunkers. Do it. Right. Um. <laughs> so, um, listen, I am, I am <laughs> well, not a club chucker. I just needed to get that out of my system, right? I, I as a as a previous club chucker, I uh, thought it was a pretty good release on that. I one. just needed to. I even pulled that. I just needed <laughs> to get it out. Do not do that at home, kids. I just. When don't be a douche. It's gonna miss him. Yeah. Yeah, we missed it. Yeah, we're good. Just down the left, just past those traps. Job's done. Well, we've done okay, Peter. I'm sat beautifully. It's just off the fairway. We're past the traps. Only issue is we've got the bunker up on the uh, green, 47 to the front, 60 middle, 75 back flags 71 we've got to get it up good thing is that the wind's straight into us so yeah, we can I'd, use a if the wind wasn't into us i'd have no chance yeah just a nice little little lob wedge i think might just zap it actually just to get a, a definitive distance mm. yeah i think i've i think i've calmed down enough now mate. 68 yards it is to the 68 yes you okay yeah, sorry, I'm just like... Who would I, have thought it? Hulk Finch. I've just, play, just played a lot of golf recently and it's one of those where every time I play, I'm getting worse. No, that feeling, yeah. right. Okay, though, we'll, we'll deal with it Come here. On. We will, we will. Come on. Nipped. Give me a like, give I was me a trying like. to get a little bit higher, just tweaked my face a tiny bit shut there. And uh, it's pitch pin high and bounced off. So we need the safety man to come in again. <laughs> How far do you say it was to the pin? 68. Uh, I'm just going to rain fire down on this one, mate. Rain fire. That has popped up so weird. Well, we've hit the green. Um, other than that, it was pretty poor. That... No. <laughs> <laughs> knee mind, knee mind. What, do you fancy mine or yours? Uh, I mean, yours is shorter. Yeah. And usually proximity means a better outcome. The only issue with this, you've got the steep upslope. I don't want anything to do with my pitch shot. Right, we're taking Pete. He's had a, uh, he's had his meltdown. It's really nice turf. So you can put it from here. Can oh. put it. I quite like these because I think I really find them easy to visualise because you're like up and then down. Yeah, do you wedge it or put it? Oh, put, just like... Tsh, tsh, tsh. Put. Yeah. Put it, it is then. Come right. on. Right. I've not really contributed since the first hole, apart from safety <laughs> wedges. Ooh, that went left. That kind of go left up the side? Yeah, left and long. There was nothing good about that. Nothing. From such an innocuous little hole, simple hole. We got yeah. the drive away, but then pin position meant so much. Probably should have played a little bit right of the flag instead of trying to stick it in close, but... Don't worry, mate. You I live and you, learn. Mate. You live and learn. Travel, travel, Oh, travel. Well, I got the... I got that bloody line! Well, it's the better of two bads. Can anybody tell that I've not had a coffee this morning? 
Come on, Pete. Shake that empty skull of yours <laughs> and knock this in, will you? <laughs> Hey everybody, give him a round of applause. Oh no, no, come on, I don't need, your, I don't need your faux sympathy. So, the actual original designer of this golf course here at Wallasey was none other than old Tom Morris, known for obviously St Andrew's fame. He designed the course, it has been redesigned since then, I think around about the 1920s, 30s, but there's still, um, I think it's about five or six of the greens that he originally put down are still, is it four? Four, yeah. Four of them are uh, uh, in place, and this is one of them. It has got very fields of St. Andrews. This is a long sort of reverse Mackenzie, this green. Reverse Mackenzie? Almost, it looks it. God. But it's a, it's a great little green, or well, little isn't the, the right word, because it's, it's very big. It's very big green. So this seventh hole, par five, 525 straight down, a couple of bunkers down the right, out of bounds down the right, not really in play, but uh, quite a generous fairway, I would say. We've just got to avoid the bunkers that are out there, which we can see here. Hit your cut, hit your cut, hit your cut, hit your cut. Sounded last. sweet. Is it good? At last. Down the middle, is it? Yeah, left centre. Left centre. Actual golf shot. Just the uh, 11 bunkers we have to be wary of here. To steal your joke from yesterday, that's 11 more than Windermere Golf Club. Oh, it's at those left traps. Oh my God, we might be taking one of my drives and I'm really excited about that. I think it's bounced the first left trap. I'm not sure. Oh, come on, we'll Matt. Let's go take use, yours. Come on, let's go use my driver again. <laughs> <sighs> All right, we've got 240 yards left in to this hole. Hmm, I'm thinking wind into off the right. Just take a three wood, not a full one. Just butter cut it up against that wind. Get it landing like a butterfly with saw fleet, feet, fleet, whatever. Just hit it on the green. Do good golf stuff. Ah, oh, caught. Cool. Uh, it's pitched over it. Just needed that bend, didn't it? Oh no, I peeled it. Oh my god, that might be on the road. Whew. We're okay. Short of the fence. I thought a Nissan Micra might be swerving off the road in a second just to avoid that, but we're okay. I think so. So Pete's found a, uh, a lovely little light. Mm. Like I say, this green light, St. Andrews. Do you, does this remind you, is it the fifth green at St. Andrews? Par five? Yeah. It's very Long, much like yeah. that. Same length. Massive. Massive. We've got Massive. a lovely, lovely, nice little tight fairway here just to pitch up onto the slope and let it feed close in for us yeah it's going to move a little bit to the right once it gets over that slope yeah so it's going to try and pitch this just to the left and just let it feed down come on that was so well struck yeah i, I was actually surprised how well I struck that um, <laughs> I don't he know how to... He was playing for a slight duff and run there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to control it when it's struck well like that. <laughs> what happens when you duff it? Um, Line-wise, that's that's bang on. Do you want to stick a spot on it? Just in case. It's, well, I'll move it if it's coming. Get in. Get in. What was oh, that? I changed I change my mind mid-shot then. One uh, of those no clarity golf swings. So bad that's when I when I hit my bad shots, that's all it is for me. Get halfway through or just about before I take the club away, I decide to change what I'm doing. I'm not set up for the shot I want to hit, so I mess around. Idiot. I won't say anything here and then we'll hold it. Love it. I don't know what your eyes are telling you at the moment. 
And that was an old finch hole, everyone. I didn't even need to come and play that hole. <laughs> well done. Oh, I am so back. Oh, well my done. word. You need to make... How, how quickly goal can change yeah. in just one hole. <laughs> in just one <laughs> hole. Right, two under. We've got four more to go to, uh, to beat Senor Cox. Three hundred and eighty-seven yards is the eighth hole. Little dog leg, left to right. Another one of the old Tom Morris green here. It's very swaley. Mm. This one, isn't it? I think the bunkers that we can see down the fairway, they come into play at two sixty-five to get over and two seventy-seven. So, I think a nice rescue would just a little fade, fade off the uh, the sheds should be the play. Okay. I think it's, it's going to be downwind as well, isn't it? Off the right slightly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty good. That should be just down the right side of the fairway. Yeah, lovely. That is, that's A1. Should I hear three, we're just trying to squeeze it a little bit further down there then? Um, right, well there, we're only flicking a wedge on. I'd almost be tempted. No, don't hit driver. No? Well, if you're going to hit driver, the only worry is there is out of bounds here. You can see the flag, the white flag in the distance. So if you can cut the corner, we might, you might bounce it sort of close. It wins off the right, isn't it? I'm never going to get that far. Okay. We can see what the man's made of now, folks. I thought after making a birdie all on his own there, he would have been hopped up on his own steam. That's a great shot. I'm Straight back. Straight at the uh, green shed. Nice shot, we'll take mine. I think we're taking yours, but yeah. I'm back. Nice to see you put a few swings together though. Yeah, innit? You, you're innit giving it me confidence in you once more. Yeah. The yeah. old Pete Finch I used to know and love is coming back. Yeah, he is. <laughs> right, we've found a fairway. Another one, I think we've, uh, we've ticked off. Right. Nearly, well, we've 30% of fairways were hit, so we've definitely hit more than that, haven't we? We're flying now. We've got 119 to the flag. It's a 50 degree. Just a good solid one of these. Wind's a little right. It has got that sort of swell. It's very generous pin, that, actually, today. Middle, middle for diddle. I love a link screen, like a bowl green. Yeah. So inviting. A few around here actually, 17? Bloody bowl. 17, yeah, like yeah. a little amphitheatre almost. Yeah, great track. <laughs> oh, bless you. Come on in. Get on the flag. Wow. So short. That's got like 90 yards. What did you have it at, distance wise? 120. It's only 109 front. I hit that nice as well. That's got to go as well. <laughs> um, what the hell? Right, that was a bit weird. Oh, that feels like a little bit of a wasted opportunity there. Yeah, very odd. Very, very odd. Anyway, we march on. Interesting that. Definitely feels now we're walking, we can, the flag's almost blowing back at us now. Yeah. I think the wind may have just played a cruel little trick on us, Peter. I suppose it is a bit of a dog leg, like, but. Yeah. Anyway. It's all right, mate. Yeah, it's okay. We're on old Tom's green. Bit of left to right in this one, maybe. Yeah. See those light patches? It's just going to be generally going yeah, that way Yeah, it's going to feed in from there, isn't it? Now we're currently two under. We could do with stealing one more, I think, before we get onto the turn. Because the back nine, there's a few tough holes on it. Travel, 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 travel. Yeah, travel. line was 
Lime was good. Lime was really good. I just take your tea. Didn't quite. Didn't quite give it the old hit. No, a bit towy as well, wasn't it? It was all round a pretty poor shot, really. Excuses is all I'm hearing. That's going in. <gasps> oh, mother of pearl. Wow. What a great effort. Yeah, I thought we'd been redeemed then. Great effort. Thank you. You can tell you're hitting your lines with those balls. I know that, that do you know what? Changing to that, that triple track, it's like, it feels yeah. like the easiest way to line up. Just having those two extra ones, you just feel super square. Yeah. I Amazing think uh, little things can do for your mind and you help you feel a bit of improvement. <laughs> anyway, it's a par ticked off. Little par three now, tricky one, and then we get onto the back nine. Right, I think we need a birdie here. Yes. Come on. It's either birdie or bogey this hole, generally. Birdie or bust. Bobby Jones in his historic Grand Slam year qualified for the Open Championship at the Wallasey Golf Club. In 1931, he was elected as a life member of Wallasey and maintained contact with the club throughout his life. Mostly via email, I imagine. There's the, um, there's the picture in the clubhouse, isn't there, that Augusta have tried to buy countless times. Oh, really? Yeah, and, oh, they've, no and they've said no. That's cool. Yeah, it's I didn't like, know that. Um, it's a portrait of Bobby Jones. I know it's like an oil painting and it's one of one. There are replicas, but that's the original. Oh, nice. It's worth, supposedly, it's worth millions. Is it really? If it goes missing. I've got a fast car. <laughs> right, 137 this flag is downwind. Uh, no, it's not downwind, it's actually into wind. It's downhill. I'm going to go nine iron. Okay. I'm going to go nine because that last hole foxed us on the... Uh, it did a little bit. You can feel it now into the wind, can't you? Yeah, definitely. That's why those wedges came up so shy. We were we were scuppered. We were dealt a bad hand. But there's no excuses now because we know what's happening. Yes. So now we're going to make amends for it. Oh, that is one of the worst golf swings I've made today. What? Traps. We're doing like some kind of weird trading places stuff here. And in the bunker. Uh, Club-wise, you think I was... Yeah, I hit that probably the worst I've ever hit an iron in the last couple of months. So yeah. um, it got pretty much 10 yards where it needed to go. And I nearly missed the golf ball. So I'm playing slightly stronger lost than you. So I'm going to go wedge. Uh, okay. What distance was it again? 138 to the flag. Into the wind downhill. It's playing like best part of 140, isn't it? Yeah. I think just a, with wedge, if you hit it hard, it's just going to get up and spin. Yeah, yeah, you're right. As well, a nice little three-quarter flighted one. As always, Matt, you're right. It's how we break records, Peter. Oh, just imagine all in one. Is yeah. holding one automatic course record? Yeah, done. I'm just go in and get on the Guinness. They actually get a, uh, a band out for us on the green. <laughs> that is a great club. Turn in. Go on, win. Feed in. Nice. Good thing you didn't hit wedge there. You would have been at least 20 yards shy. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot though, well done. <laughs> thank you, right, thank you. Right, we've got you. a chance at birdie, folks. Just gonna drop this. I'm gonna pop it in there. Have an all me hole. Not have one of them in a while. Come on, Pedro. <laughs> you you, Pedro. Senor Pedro will hold the ball now. A little birdie here, I think we're right on track. I think we are right on track. Why are you hitting that putt? That's very hard. So hard. <laughs> Have a oh. tea. Here you go. 
Fuck, it didn't even, didn't even, uh, dis that stood absolutely zero chance of going in the hole. And I'm very disappointed with myself. It was very, very wacky. Yeah, it feels a bit like, I need a bit more smoothness to my putting stroke. Fortunately, Matthew is the best putter I know on this hole at Wallasey today. <laughs> How many times have I done that today? How many times? Uh, Everyone's like half a ball out, rolling it well. Yeah, if you if you watch the first video, like yesterday, there were so many lips as well. I put it well yesterday. Right. Well, we've played nine holes. We've hit a lot of fairways. We've hit a lot of greens. We're two under par. We're doing well. We're on to the back nine. I would say this is probably the tougher nine. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I... there's there's probably tougher holes, but then there's probably a few easier ones. I think there's tougher holes. But if you get a good tee shot away and hit a good shot, it actually gives you chances. It's just more punishing on the bad shots, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's a bit tighter, a little bit more yeah. tricky. Yeah. But if you find, yeah, that's fair. Right, on to 10 we go. Right, 10th hole, 304 yards, an interesting one because it's a dog leg left to right that cuts around. Potentially, you can knock it on here, which Pete is going to try, and then I'll probably play safe. Keep cutting, keep cutting. That's actually not a bad shot because it'll kick right this. That's good because it's green side. Yeah, it's actually yeah, not too bad. That's pretty decent. Um, as the crow flies, it's actually only 280 yards to the front. Yeah. Oh, I could have stonked the three wood over the corner. Yeah, I'm going to hit three wood now up there. So an interesting little fact about the 10th, it used to be a par three played from the ninth green. And when you see the valley of the rays up, it's quite an interesting hole because if you were short, it would always just run straight back down to your feet. But since the redesign, it's, it's now this par four. They've taken a lot of trees out as well. You could never go for the green before. <laughs> <laughs> you can now though. Oh, that could be. If that gets a generous kick. Stay up on the hill, stay up on the hill. I'm not sure we might actually see that appear because it's got up to the peak of the green near the fringe in the corner and it might have just rolled down, but we shall see. So as we stand here, this is the 10th green. You can see the undulation back down and where these gentlemen are just walking up over here on the other side of the mound, that's where the par three was played from. So anything short, you would have been off, which ain't great. But now there's a nasty pin here. John's had a, a little bit of a, a oh, wriggle wow. at us. You were down in this little dell here, but in a terrible lie. Right. So mine is just that's here. A shot. Little three wood to there. It got up and then it's just rolled back down a bit. So Yeah, I reckon a brave three wood over that corner is probably the... Yeah. Probably the number. <laughs> right, so 55, just dudge it onto the middle and let it trickle out. Softly. This could be really good. That could good. be really good. Come back down a bit. It's just off the back edge. Is it ran through? Yeah, just off the back edge. I mean, the flag's only three paces off the back. Right, okay. But. I landed that, obviously you can't, you might be able to see it from there. See the little slope? Yeah. I landed it just about a yard shy of that, so. Is it kind of running up the top then, just yeah, whispering over the ridge? Yeah. Whispering ridge. Fly it about 15 foot onto the green and we're golden. Go on, get running now. Catch that slope, get over it, get over it, get over it. Just died up going up the hill. God, that was. I mean, it was to get that close to the pin. That was right on the edge. Yeah. But that was very close. That. Oh, oh crikey! Whispering Ridge just took it out of it. That is a rascal pin. That is a proper rascal of a pin. Oh yeah, that was close. 
not having do you. Do you want the good news though? What? The shop here at Wallasey does exceptional coffee. Oh my word. Cappuccino with an extra shot. Boom. Mm. Oh. God, I can feel myself coming alive. I, need, I, I want this to go in, A, for the record, but B, for me to get my own hole. Oh, just in case. We've got our own hole, baby. Awesome. We've got our own hole. What a boy. That is teamwork, right? Three under. Whew. Let's keep this fast start going on the back nine. Let's keep it going. Now I know I've got a coffee in a flat jack. I'm like, I'm so relaxed. You're happy. This is such a good course. Yeah. I'm vibing. Tell you what, off these tees that we're playing now, never, this is a new tee, the, one of the re ones, 406. It's normally like 380, this one. But even now, just the way it looks, because you can't see down onto the fairway. Hidden fairway. But yeah, it looks spectacular. Let's keep the birdie chimes going, baby. Absolutely. There's some bunkers down on the right, which aren't going to be in play there, like three, 370. A straight down draft, isn't it? Yeah, we want to air down the left-hand side of the fairway because everything on this 11th hole falls from left to right and the wind is off the left. That buggy is actually not a bad line. Can you get closer to the green today? No. 400 yards, are you mad? It's uphill. I've just had a, a cap, bit of cappuccino and a flap jack, mate. I'm... All right, yeah, you'll probably knock it over. <laughs> Beautiful swing. Seen a few yeah, bounces. Bounced, yeah. yeah. Just in the right rough. That wind is quite harsh off the left, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think buggy is the line. Yeah, I went a little bit right of that, but buggy line, you are golden. Oh yes. That is gonna come down in line with the flag, I think. Yes. Great shot. Yep. Hard to see, obviously we can't see the fairway from here, but uh, very good drive. I'm, 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 just, I'm just happy to have some semblance of a fade back. We are vibing, vibing. I think a flapjack is one of the most underrated golf snacks that you can have. Apple flapjack there, it's oh, hit the spot. I don't think golf snack, I think just general live food. Yeah, yeah, nice flapjack. Used to make loads of them in school. Mm. Well, this combination, Flapjack oh. coffee. Oh. Just imagine that in the morning. The only thing with like shop flapjacks is they're slightly soft. Like if you've got like crunchy top. Oh. It used to be a service station just before you got into Bowness and Windermere. Yeah. They did this flapjack and it had like a crispy caramelized oh. top. I'm going there tomorrow. Are you? Yeah. Oh, right. Might call in, see if they've got the old mm. flappy for the Jackie. Right, back to the golf. Um, not far. Did you zap it then? Yeah, 60. 60 to the flag. We're very much uphill, so it's playing about 65, 66. There is a big upslope behind the flag, so we can go at it. There's nothing, obviously, for being short other than the ball coming back to your feet whilst you weep incessantly. I was going to say, so, do you think we could be pretty attacking then? I would say that attacking nature is the way to play this hole. Okay. So I'm going to have a lob wedge, just going to straight out the pin. I'm going to try and land it just a bit short, but. That could be perfect. Oh. That'll be pretty good, I think. Yeah. Like bounce wise, that seems to feed right. Hmm. In my head, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking it should feed left, but. That's gone right on me as well. Seem to be fading all my wedges. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Like yeah. everything's starting out slightly right with them. Blame the clubs, it's nothing to do with me whatsoever. I am nothing but a pure striker. Right, Peter, right. I think we'll take yours. I think so. After it's my slice. Right? Look at you. What a view. I think you're right though about this hole. I reckon you went like pretty aggressive with it all the way back. Yeah, that's probably the play, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Let's go and take him again. Yeah. Right, a bit of righty lefty. Oh yeah. I feel you holding this one. Yeah, I, 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 I want to hold to myself. 
just going to wait for it here. Yeah, I want this hole all to myself. Too firm again. Wow. Have you put lead tape on your putter? I don't know. I'm just like... <laughs> it's like Thor's <laughs> hammer. I'm not... I'm not... <laughs> well, I'm, it's not a, a thought process of going, I need to be firm with it. I'm just, just being really firm with it. It's just not moved. Stayed dead straight, that. Probably read a bit too much into it, though. Yeah. Well, do you know what? Stood on that tee back there, it could be quite a problem. If you got one just a little bit loose, it's not the biggest fairway. So another par ticked off. We remain at three. Let's keep going. Great par three coming oh, up next. This is a beauty, this one, isn't it? Guys, if you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe to both channels and leave us a little comment down below. Do you think we're going to break the record? Yay or nay? Who's been your favourite player as well thus far? Who's been your favourite player? Weird. Weird. Weird thing to say. Why? Weird, isn't it? Oh, weird. One hundred and sixty-six yards. I think this is another. Uh, it is another Tom Morris green. You just get vibes of like St Andrews for me when you see one of them. Like the way the bunkering is done all at the front, raised pot bunkers, little slithers of green. Every every single links course should have a hole like this. Every single one. Yeah, it should be like a short hole surrounded by the deepest bunkers you can get. Yeah. It just says hit a good shot or you're dead. And if you've not got that hole on your course, mm. check yourself before you wreck yourself. I'm going six iron. Yeah, I think that's probably a good place. Right back into the draft. 163 is actually playing probably 170, but then it's downhill, so it sort of cancels it out a bit. Right, Pete, we need to uh, we need to do the business yeah. here. It's part five next as well, isn't it? So it we sure is. Really good back to backs. There. Oh, please be the number. Please go in the blooming hole. Right at the back of the green. It's just on the fringe at the back. Uh, it's a great shot. Yeah. Great shot, great strike. I'm happy I saw that. I'm glad I got out of bed now. <laughs> Pete's happy that he came. Cue the wanted song. <laughs> du, 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 du. So glad you came. My da, pop da, career da, is still da. definitely on. Hit just me gonna, on top of the pops if you're still going. Try and hit that same shot, mate. Six iron. Six iron. Just let it drift off that bunker on the left. Oh, this is lovely. That wind's just buffered it. Be good. Go in. Please go in the hole. <gasps> Oh, it's just a bit shy, but it's about six foot now. Yeah. I thought that had actually pitched on it. Yeah, that it looked, looked really, right really like it. good. Honestly, these these easy little par three holes that every course should have, you know, just made mince meat of them. A little bit of water now they've had the cannons on. Does that mean I might slow my putt now? Tiny bit. Here's your pitchy marky. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Thank you. You get my pitch mark, I'll get the birdie. How's that? Okay. Right. Let's do this thing, Pete. Okay. We can see Coxie's in grabbing distance here. <laughs> we were doing so well at that yesterday. And it's just falling apart, that. Hey, we'll take it though. That's uh. four deep. I don't know how many holes we've got left. Quite a few, five, I reckon. Have we got five? Yeah, I, I, I have to say, I, I... Shout out, Tommy. I seem to be birding all the Tom Morris's greens. It's just, it's just in you. The spirit of Tom lives on. Oh, boy. Tom, let's go, Come baby. On. Par five, back-to-back -back par fives now. Whoo, Coxie, five under. <laughs> should have shot, should have shot nine, player like you. The 13th hole is 535 yards to par five. Bit of a sweeping dog leg. You want to go down the left with a little fade. If we get a good tee shot away and miss the bunkers, we should uh, 
We should have a good dig at this, maybe with a mid iron. If there's a hole which is made for my normal shot shape. Yeah, this is this is it, Peter. What was the longest drive again? 335 yards. Ah! Oh, God. Not anymore. Is that good? That is monstrous. Monstrous? You think it's fairway? Did you just see the bounce that took? I didn't know. The only bunkers we have to worry about here on 13 is 293 and 279, both up the left. So let's see what we've got. Let's I, I, I'm going to be very surprised if that's any less than 348 yards. 48? Yeah. So, so you've made someone 10 yards your, your, your senior. <laughs> shorter. What was your line then? Did you just hit them on the buggies? I, li I literally, uh, lines on the tee. Yeah. Just drifted it. Okay. Like right just, then, let's let's just diddle Finch then, just to make him upset. Mate, you can diddle me as much as you want on this one. I don't think I got stuck inside enough there. That oh, actually, that's a massive bounce as well. That one hurt a bit. I <laughs> got so far here and just stopped. Mate, if you got questionable trumps, you can't go doing that. Can, oh. can we appreciate this tea for a second, by the way? Everything's just immaculate, isn't it? There's like, it's, it's the difference between turning, like this is a good course, but the conditioning of it is really making it into a, just a great a course, course. And yeah. just like a great experience. It's just the lines, the definition, like the way that they've mowed yeah. around like that little hump on the last there, it's just, it's just Like it's on. been cut with a razor blade. Yeah, these grass walkways, I love a grass walk, I'm a bit sad, but, I love a little better than some way. fairways. Oh, I'll be happy to put on them. <laughs> We've got one, six, seven left to the pin with the Pro LX. I've got a slope on as well. It is flat, surprisingly. <laughs> um, it's 180 to the middle hole is through 530. So by my quick calculations, 350 drive. Is that about right? 450. Yeah. So 337. Done. I mean, if, if I was ever going to hit a long drive, it was that hot, yeah, was it? I mean, they might as well, next time we come here, forget all the Stableford Tom Morris plaques, I just want a plaque of my Pete face Finch. on there. <laughs> Pete's big face. Pete Finch once called this the best hole in golf. <laughs> right, what a take that is. 160 hit nine, I am. Um, yeah, I think so. We're, cur we're currently four deep. If we can sneak an eagle here, we then have another par thump. I'm thinking maybe just right of this pin, that slope to the left looks a bit mean, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, the green does slope from left to right at that portion, but there is a fall off short left as well. Okay. It's nice, easy nine. Yeah, you can go big as well. It'll come yeah. back down. Oh, get zoomy on that flag. Little kick, yes. Stick your indicator on. That must be pretty good, yeah? I think so. Just can't see the bottom of the pin. Maybe that plaque's gonna say Albatross. I think you're gonna be about 10, 15 feet short right. What he means is you can't see the ball because it's in the hole. Well done, Peter Finch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, I'm honestly, it's amazing what caffeine does, doesn't it? Incredible. What time to be alive. Actually, I think it's incredible what that club throw did. Yeah. It just extracted all the venom it from my body. It cleared your soul. It cleansed you. Oh, come on, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Keep coming, keep coming. Kick left, kick left, kick, kick left. left. Feed in, feed in, feed in. Looks great. It's tough, isn't it? Because yeah, we don't quite know the depth of that pin. So, but either way, two, two stellar shots. shots, Peter. Stellar shots. I think that deserves We are it. coming That's for you, Coxie. There we go. We've we've got the slap down. <laughs> let me let me just welcome you and walk down the hole, which will be <laughs> named after me, I'm sure, very shortly. We didn't actually realise that. I didn't realise the pin was that close to the front. 
Like it's mine. just got on the top of that ridge and just trickled down, right hasn't down. it? I think I've pitched just over and, and gone, so. I think you probably pitched pin eye. This, uh, this could be the Pete Feen show for two holes. Honestly, I just... He's back. I've never, ever, ever been a fan of like people throwing clubs. It just makes them look ultimately yeah, stupid, but... Me neither. But I, 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 I could be... a club wanger. I could be convinced that... It is, it does it for you. It's therapeutic. That's my pitch mark. Yes. Yeah, I think my pitch just short, I think. Yeah, that's pitch. I actually misread it. Yeah, silly fool. All right. I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. I might just get the flag here, Pete, because... Oh. I might just get the flag here, Pete. Yeah. Because you're having a hell of a ride. Oh, wow. Wow. What? <laughs> oh, okay. What, what have you done with Pete? Did yours actually move left then? Yeah, I mean, I was going, it, was, it, was a, it wasn't was a holding phase, was it? It was just like a bit dribbly, but. Trust you, Reid. <sighs> Mate. Should we throw clubs now or? We messed up there. We'll... I mean, it's a birdie, but we've just missed a four footer. That's smooth quite a lot. I, I mean, even took a, I thought I aimed right on the right lip then and thought. Yes. Oh, oh so deflating. I mean, it's a birdie. We've gone to five under par, so we're currently tied with Senor Cox and we've got a fair few holes to go yet. Fourteenth hole is uh, 480 yards as a par five back into the wind so probably plays similar to the last now. <coughs> yeah, I don't think this is going 360 to be honest with you. Just going at that church spire a bit right of it. Pretty safe though. Then. Yeah, fair way. Probably just running to the rough. Right then, let's see if we can get a little bit left of that. Right at the church spire. That should be A1. You know, Matt, from down here, that might actually rank in the top 10 experiences of my life. Yeah. Such a beautiful flight. Thanks, Pete. That was really special. I don't know if he's being sarcastic now. <laughs> right, some bunkers that we need to avoid on this one. Quite a lot of bunkers around the green. Um, 178 up on the right, 197 left, 213 left, 225 right, 234. So quite the bunker-ridden hole. How far was the flag, Pete? Uh, 233. 233 into the wind. The front's actually only 212. That's really I awkward. I think I'm going to hit my rescue. Do you think that'll be enough? I think it'll fly about 210 in this wind. It's a 235 club. So I'm planning to land it short and bounce it on. Mm. That's such a good strike. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, I did push it. If it would have been online, it would have been perfect. That's the right club. Do you think? Yeah. So that three wood's going to be obviously way too much. Yeah. If you go see, see behind the green, yeah. like you've got the lamp post behind the flag. Yeah. If you've got the lamp posts so left, left of the, yeah. the flag with a little fade, that was my intended shot, but just pushed it and it's caught that trap. It's probably bounced about five yards short and, and run up, so. All right. Little I'm, fade, come on. I'm trusting. I'd rather be a tiny bit big than short as well because you get past all the bunkers. Mm. Oh, yes. Wow, that's climbed. Yeah, that's my only fear. Maybe just on the front. 
Yeah, it's just... Just spun up, didn't it? Is it? I absolutely adore this club, but yeah. like a low spinning bomber, it is not. Yeah. It's oh, a, well. It's Onwards we go. Most accurate thing I've got, but... What do you fancy? We're closer here, but... I thought it was tricky because out of that, it's not an easy bunker shot, but that's probably a simpler shot in some respects than that, but we're only going to get one shot because as soon as I drop in that, it's going to plug. Yeah. Or we get two shots at that, which is a, it's a chip and run, so... Should we go for yours? Yeah. Happy uh, with that? Yeah, okay. I, I don't think there's... I, think, I don't think it's an easy choice, but at least we get two attempts at it. Okay. I think that's right. I mean, I fancy hitting that to about three foot. You are? I fancy hitting that to about three foot. Do you think that one? I don't like, it sat so nicely and was so close. All you got to do is get it out onto the green and it's bouncing, isn't it? As well with that, do we get it to 10 feet? Oh, he's picked it up. Right then. Poor decision. I better, uh, I better come the, up trumps now. This is the moment where the, the union falls apart. Yeah. You were quick to pick up there. Yeah, well, I could, I could sense that this is what you wanted to do, and your channel, you want to keep me happy. There we go, at least you know the rules. Yeah, so we just literally from the green, then it just rolls, doesn't it? Yeah, so. I think as long as we just puff it out, it's a... I'd love to hold this out now. Oh, mate, I'd absolutely adore it. Right, just let it splash on. Little run, and off we go. That came out remarkably well. I'll just... I'm not going to lie, I'd hope for better. <laughs> yeah. Right. Clever with your drop. Spin it. <laughs> not a bad thing, that, you know. <laughs> How is that not a bad thing? Well, you can open it up and just flop it onto the, onto the front. Right. So I just need to land this just over. If you get it on the fringe, it's yeah. laughing. It's laughing gas, lad. Perfect. See, right choice all along. I'll even rake it for you I there. Mean, that Pete. might be the best bunker shot I've played in quite some time. Yep. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty, well done. That was pretty good. See, the plan worked. I love Lynx bunkers, there's just like a lovely firmness Fluffy. underneath. There's enough sand on top and there's just like a thud when you get it right. Great. That's great raking, by the way. I mean, it's not a hard skill to rake a bunker. Amazing how many people can't do it well. <laughs> He's going to put with the flag in, psychopath. Well done. Well done, team. Very well done. Easy. Light work. Six under. Have we put Cox back in his box right now? Cox is in his box right now. Right. We've still got to finish the round off and... We're not strong finishers. <laughs> <laughs>
215 and 235 so let's hit a five iron past the first initial ones ouch just stabbed myself go on get a kick get a kick get a kick hedge down and get running wow that has actually worked out fine that's Can't perfect believe what I've just seen I've just hit the ball three inches before the actual ball there. Caught the big ball before the little one. A little bit too much, one feels. Still driving them? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's in play. True. Oh, that has a oh, chance. Oh, nice. That has a chance. Go, go. Oh my God, it's on the green. What? Come here. God. So just zoom in between the gap of the bush. That it's just gone face. through. Whoa! Through the back of the uh, the green. That that absolutely flew. That was a smokerton. Holy moly! So that's what the middle of the face feels like. Yeah. Welcome. Jeez. Welcome says me after fatting it. <laughs> nice shot, Peter. Yeah. Petter. Past the pin, too much. Yeah, Take pitched three. on the green and it's just rolled down. Taking the three wood. We've got this sharp undulation we've got to get up over, so it's a question of do we bump and run or do we throw it in the air? Steep bank, man. Isn't it? Steep bank for a run. It would have to be a rescue runner, I think. Yours is sat very nicely, so you can you can throw it. I think with the with the wind. Yeah, you can almost play into it to get it soft. Yeah, you could almost just play slightly left and just try and use it a touch more. There's not a lot of room, but I think we've got this one. Oh. Literally to too out good. Too soft. Literally too good. I'm going to drop mine before I pull the club. How's that? Is there a dropping school anywhere nearby? <laughs> what are you thinking? Uh, yours is okay, isn't it? So. Yeah, th there is a little bit more room than one would think. I can't be short there. Just kept the face open, little fade. Yeah. I'm good. Oh. Heel just dug in and flipped it for me. Unfortunate, that one. Didn't have enough speed. Oh well. Not sure whose is better, mine or Pete. All right, so left there? Yeah, not loads. Wind's obviously going to yeah. push it back a bit. I nearly shouted yes, but then I thought early call don't do it, and I was right to. Oh, wow. Take this wonderful marker. Oh, yeah. Oh, bet that hurt. Heavy, that. You just oh. got bulleted. That's another lip out. Wow. Get the line there, mate. Oh, yeah. You got this. Ah. I actually thought that was better because it was inside your line and it just turned and then... Last second, isn't it? Ah. I'm not going to put a peg down on that one. I think I got that. Oh, oh well. So I'll let you get involved on the next one. All you, Hull. Well done. Cheers, mate. All me, pal. Yeah, all me. How exciting, me, How exciting yeah. is that? That was... Some, uh, by the way, these last three holes, these are unreal. Yeah, these are proper, these three now. 16, what a par three. 17, great, 18, mega. So it's saying 193 to the front. The hole's 201 to the middle. We've got one bunker at 188 yards that is just glaring at us. 
there, big fall off before the green. So you've got to carry it. It's downwind, slightly off the left. Tough par three, this. There is a little bit of green from where we see it, tucked around the right, but suits our fades. Yeah, 191 it's playing. Downwind? Yeah. What are you thinking, seven? Pin looks very at the front there as well. Yeah. I think might have to land this one short. I'm thinking, I might even think an eight. I'm going to hit seven. Just because. Because you've got it out. There's, yeah, that. there's nothing for sure, is there? True, yeah. Big old false front. Just think, just pitch it short left and. I'm just going to slam dunk it. Leave it wind. Well, there's a bank there. And that's stayed on top of it. Had a couple of it. It's the right club. I've hit that struck well. Just a nice floaty one of those. See the path in the dune behind. Because the worst thing you could do now is hit eight and be short and then we're scuppered. Oh. And then Graham Cox pops up, laughs at us. The fox is not in his box, or the cox is not in his box. Right. Now, again, this, this hole should suit my eye, and it does. <laughs> push it, push it, push it, wind. Come on, push it. God, you hit seven. I, I didn't hit it well. That, that yeah. was a, not a good strike, but it was one of those where the line was so good that I wasn't going to say anything before it landed, just in case. Just in case. Give it a massive light one. I know. Hey, got it massive in. Massive Ricky club for Will. Thanks for coming. Well, we're on near the green. We can chip it in. I hold. <laughs> You got it. Not want to take this. <laughs> I mean, it'd be a tricky one. <laughs> Nothing but net from there. Now, we're currently one inside it. We do have chances down 17 and 18. We've just got to escape here with a par and then push for maybe picking one more up on the last two holes. And we've had a solid, solid good go at it. Very impressive though to great for Graham to shoot five under on his own. You gotta be in control of your ball. Right, Texas wedge. Just want this dripping down onto the green. It's kind of downhill right to left once it gets on. Not bad, not bad. This... I, think that, I think that is the shot, but... Yeah. I'll go for it. I'll, I'll have trust in my partner. We believe in Pete. It was unsurprisingly slightly heavy handed. <laughs> no. Wow, that really zoomed off. I actually thought halfway that was pretty decent. The frit like, what we sort of forget to recognise is the fringe is that good, it's just like putting on the yeah, green. Yeah, it's... We sort of allowed for a bit more pace. It's very much fringing yeah. quotations, isn't it? Well, Pete, this is the first real test we've, uh, we've come up against. No bogeys yet today. Kind of, it doesn't look like he's doing a lot from this angle. Pretty much straight back up the hill, do you think? Yeah. Wow, very confident. Let's pop that back in the ground. It was the right call. Yeah, I have nothing but faith for this man here. Oh, yes, Peter. You can pick that tee up now because <sighs> it is not needed. 
<laughs> not needed, right. Navigated the 16th with a nice little par. We've got two holes to go. We're six under. I think we've done the uh, the fairways in rag. We've done the greens in rag. I think we've got the longest drive. We just need to finish off getting this record broke, Pete. Right, we've got this. Come on. Two holes. Let's have... I mean, they're both pretty tough, but squeeze one more birdie out. Yeah. So this 17th hole, actually, you play off the fifth tee. They've moved it back, got it out to 473 yards. It's a dog leg left to right. It's pretty, pretty straight, then just goes right angle. Off the other tee, I know it's only like 30, 40 yards forwards, but it was just pretty simple, wasn't it? Yeah. That's why now maybe ask you to get a question left is generally a little bit better because you get a bit of an angle to the green if you're not quite long enough but it also forces you to hit a drive here because like yeah definitely just the noodle of three would off there yeah on. exactly yeah looking back out over this gorgeous coastline tides out pete that's why the wind's off the right wow love it fact it's gonna absolutely rip a little fade down this fairway okay he has done as well just going on the little hump. I can't see it bouncing because it's that shiny down there. Yeah, it's just left edge of the fairway. Good. I'm not going to say I couldn't have placed it any better, but like as far as the angle in goes, that's... I couldn't have placed it any better. Pretty damn, pretty bang on. Right, let's see if we can get one out there as well. Near Senor Doffington's. Wind, 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 wind. Hit so far out the neck. One. It's just in the hill on the right. It's kicking back towards the fairway, but doesn't matter when you've got a partner who's in play. What? What is with that today? What's wrong with us? We've got no snap. There we go. There we go. I'm There's some bad. snap. There's some salt on it. Oh yeah. Hit the bay. And the berg though yesterday, I was stinging. Yeah. A lot of slaps going on. Right. We've lasered. Is there any traps up here? I think there's one. Oh yes, 158 on the left. That's short left of the green, isn't it? Yeah. From, from where we are. So 162, it's a little bit uphill, 169. It's like a back to front green, a front to back green, isn't it? It's pretty flat. It's pretty flat. Yeah. Um, 169 into the wind. Can't quite remember last time we played here. Do you remember sprinting these last few holes? Yeah. It you was, could literally see the storm coming in off like, the... Uh, it was a really clear day. You could see the Welsh hills. And then we looked up and they just weren't there anymore. Yeah. Uh, and that's when we knew we were in for something. And Thor's thunder was coming down at us. What were we thinking there? So it's into wind, but I feel like a, just like like little chippy six. Just like landing. I think it's going to be a good six, you know. You think? Yeah. I'm just seeing like a six line that starts to the right of, like where the hump is on the right. Yeah. Just a little draw. Yeah. Landing short and just like scampering down to the hole. I like that. Well, it's only 146 to the front. Yeah. So, yeah, you're probably right. I'm going to hit a little drawy number then. I mean, this isn't my shot and I've no right to think like that, but I can just see it. Hey, we are record breaking at the minute. You have every right. <laughs> Snap. I've literally never done one of those before. <laughs> First time for everything, right. That was the back five, y'all. Okay, let's see if my brain is just hallucinating or if I can actually pull this shot off. Oh, be the one, baby. Ooh, a bit of a kick left out. Quite a it? fiery bounce, wasn't it? But everything that yeah, you was... described was prescribed. It was pretty crisp strike, you know. There you go. Right, I'm going to try and hit the same shot. Just, you know, because I think we're up there, back left corner of the green. I think you just got to pitch it to the right of the pin, haven't you, if you're playing yeah. that shot. Hold that line. I just got a bit at the end as well. Very similar shots. Actually. Yeah, pretty much identical. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> get some shot try. I wonder, they're probably pitching like literally the same play. Nice shots there. Yeah. They're up there, it's a proper golf hole, that off the back now, isn't it? Normally it's like a calm day, you hit three wood down to the corner here yeah, and then flick yeah. a wedge in as well. Drive a six iron, that's some, that's some going. Yeah. 
I really like that off that tee. Just a great course. Wallacey, just a... This would be a real Brucey bonus. Why can't all courses be like Wallacey? Because they all need to have their own individualistic character. Yeah, but this is like a good character. I'm just letting me join as a member, Ed. Didn't work. Yeah. So, oh, are you that guy who hit that massive drive on 14? Are you the one we'll get the plaque built for? Yeah. <laughs> the Pete Finch face. <laughs> oh, you didn't make Eagle, sorry. Your, uh, your application's been denied. That's what the plaque's for. <laughs> Pete Finch did not make an Eagle after hitting a 400 yard drive on him. Nice putt. Did it move, did it really? No, dead straight. I was thinking a little left to right on that. I'd just go left edge. Don't know if anyone's ever told you, Matt, but you actually have a really nice putting stroke. Thanks. Worked hard on that. Many hours spent on the bases. Come on. Channel at home. Just in here. Oh, that's where it's meant to go. All right. Yes. Oh, he's gone. Oh, this is... That has happened a lot over the last few days. Like, as that put dies, it's just breaking a different way. That was on line all the way. Oh. You know what, though? Pretty... It's a good four, though. Cracking good hole, good that. Four, yeah. Cracking hole. Right, we've got one hole remaining. It's a good hole as well, the 18th. Lots of humps and swales. So what we got to do, par. We need to par this and we've done it. Oh, just like nearly missed just, as well just then. Just like literally missing every single one. I think one. we should do it with tennis rackets or paddle boards. Know, just a bigger just surface area for us. So we come to the close, 18th hole. 430 yards if you haven't already make sure you absolutely wallop that like button and if we do manage to beat this course record surely a subscription to both channels is in order and just a massive thank you to Wallacey for having us I am absolutely loving this course driver 430 kind of at the church go on then scamper I might actually be all right because it was so low spinning. I almost dislocated my thumb when I hit that. Ow. That was so far off the toe, the entire club twisted and wrenched my thumb around. Jeez. Wow. Beauty. I too am down the right side. Yeah, I think yours has struck a bit better than mine, though. No, a bit toey. Little kick, it should be now on the fairway. Let's finish with an absolute Porsche. Well, we've got 155 to the front. I think it's the same shot as the last, you know. How far does it say you've got? 155 front, 176 middle. I think the pin is middle back, isn't it? So Yeah. A little drawy six again. To be honest, mate, I'm absolutely vibing with that shot, yeah? Yeah. I think with the drawy six... If we start it on the sort of end of the clubhouse, just... Yeah, I think you want to be landing it to be honest, if you're drawing it, I think you want to be landing it in between the church and the clubhouse. Okay. It bounced. That's always a good sign. It's a bit far right, but I think overall pretty good. Might be a tad short, that. Is it a six? Yeah. Yeah, just a smooth one, like a nice one. Not trying to get it up, but. That was actually very, very close to a shank bar. That would have uh, that would have taken your fair host out of the YouTube game for quite a number of weeks, I believe. It's my new tactic. Just trying to thin the social crowd, you know what I mean? 
versus Fryer. Just slowly tick them off my list. I think if I was three or four feet, well, about five yards left, it's done nicely, but well, hey ho. Right, we need our. Uh, and remember, our... by the way, remember, we do need a par. And I was going to say, game face is on. We like... need to dodge this out halfway and let it trickle up. I feel like we've relaxed a little bit too much here. We're not done and dusted yet. Right, come on. Best shot you've hit today. It's very well played. Wow. Thank you. Somebody... Got some applause. Got that. We've got applause for applause that. Here. Play here more often. There we go. That's what I wanted. That little semi plug. I know how to play this one anyway. Well, yeah, thumbs la down. La yeah. Lack of applause then. <laughs> Uh, right, Friar. This could be an all U hole, this one, then. Eh? Yeah. Right. I've all of a sudden just gone a little bit nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a little bit like that, is it? Right. We were way too relaxed on this hole. I was quite happy with my shot. I didn't really. Joe, you know what? I switched off and didn't look at my watch to see where the trouble was. I had it in my mind, it was only the bunkers on the left. Just got to keep shot scoping all the way. Yeah. Stay focused, people. Come on. Blase, cost us a shot. Didn't hit a bad shot. Just the wrong direction. All right, come on. Cox is going to be on the edge of his bloody seat right now. Yeah. This is for you, Grey Dog. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> didn't. I did, not want yeah. that. I did not want that on me right now. <laughs> We've done it. The first one in the series. Right. Well done. Oh. Record breakers, officially. Record breakers, guys. If you've enjoyed that, remember to subscribe to both channels, hit that like button, and stay tuned for the next episode coming soon over on Peter Finch's channel. Awesome. Let's go.